ever wondered how a TV is made? Today, we are at a factory where a Chroma 32 inch TV is being built from the ground up. So let's go behind the scenes and cover it. Our journey started with the LCM room. LCM stands for Liquid Crystal Module. This is where your TV's display is attached. Before entering the room, let's gear up. This is because the room we are about to enter is a dust-free zone. The back cover arrives on the assembly line and LED strips are carefully attached to it. After this, a reflector sheet is added to enhance the brightness of your TV's backlight, ensuring a vibrant display. These extremely thin layers of plastic that you see here are called optical sheets. Multiple layers of these sheets make up the entire display. An inspection is conducted to make sure everything assembled so far is perfect, ensuring top-notch quality. Now, the middle frame is attached, giving your TV a sturdy structure. The frame is carefully cleaned to remove any dust or debris that may have entered. Here, the most important part of the display is attached. The delicate glass screen is added using a suction pump. This step is crucial as the screen is super fragile and needs careful handling. Now, front bezels are added to the frame, giving your TV a sleek look. Your TV undergoes a gentle tapping test to ensure all components are securely in place. Next is the darkroom test, where the TV is tested for light leakage and backlight performance. A final visual inspection is conducted before the TV is sent to the final assembly line. Before we head to the final assembly line, let's visit the SMT line, where the PCB, the brain of the TV, is being manufactured. The PCB board is designed using a stencil to outline where the components will go. The room is filled with several such high-tech machines. Next, solder paste is applied to the copper parts of the bare board. Now, small components are mounted onto the PCB using a chip mounter. The board then goes on to a multi-mounter machine. This machine can place up to 55,000 components per hour onto the PCB. The board is manually checked for any issues. Now, the PCB enters the reflow machine. It is heated to melt the solder paste and then cooled to solidify the connections. An automatic optical inspection is conducted where a camera autonomously scans the device to check if everything is in place. The board now moves to the manual insertion line where comparatively large and heavy components are manually placed onto the PCB. The manually placed components are then soldered onto the board and the board undergoes tests to ensure it functions correctly. And now we arrive at the final assembly line. The speaker panels are attached to the TV and the flat cable is connected to ensure the audio components are properly integrated. Next, the star energy efficiency sticker is applied. The power cord is connected to the TV and the TV panel is closed. After this, the TV is placed on an aging line for 40 minutes, where it is continuously operated to test its durability and performance over time. Post that, necessary software files are updated to ensure the TV has the latest features and functionality. The brand's logo is also attached at this stage. The TV is then sent to a dark room where the display is thoroughly checked. The TV's LAN and Wi-Fi functionalities are tested. Labels with important information such as serial number and specifications are pasted onto the TV. Next, the left and right speaker channels are tested. HDMI, speaker and other final tests are performed. The TV undergoes a final aesthetic check is clean and then packed with the power cord, remote, manuals, wall mount and the back stand to ensure everything is included for the consumer. Fun fact, more than 5000 units of TVs are produced in this factory every single day. Here's another fun fact for you. This single factory is responsible for making TVs that are as small as 24 inches and as large as 86 inches all in one place. Now we move on to the testing phase. First, the TV undergoes a vibration test to simulate the conditions it might experience during transportation. Then, the TV is subjected to a series of drop tests to ensure it can survive accidental drops during the handling and transportation. The TV is dropped from various heights and angles, including all sides and corners, a total of 10 times. It is also exposed to sand and dust in a controlled chamber. The TV is then placed in an environmental chamber where it is subjected to extreme temperatures and humidity levels. Did you enjoy finding out how your favorite TV is made? If you have, subscribe to Unboxed by Troma for more such behind the scenes and factory visits videos.